I think anybody on YouTube has shown you this. I guess this is one of the random things that they do in San Marino. Hike up to the castle. And in the distance, you see... Hey everyone, welcome back to another adventure. Today we're heading to a country that is one of the world's oldest, smallest, and least visited. And you probably didn't even know it existed. One of the best things about living in Europe is you can drive a couple of hours and then end up in a whole new country. And of course, you can't do a road trip in Italy without stopping by at an auto grill for an amazing sandwich. The drive for us took about four hours from where we live in North Italy. As you get higher and higher into the country, the roads will become more narrow and much more winding. So definitely make sure your car can handle it before coming up here. Hidden away in the middle of Italy and most people have no idea it exists. So today we're going to check out if it's actually worth visiting and why it took us five years to visit this country. Be warned, when you come here, you will be walking a lot. Also, we noticed there are a ton of shops for whatever things you need. Impressions of San Marino. Wear comfortable shoes because, oh my God, we've been here 10 minutes and I think we already probably took about 10,000 steps. San Marino is the third smallest country in Europe and the fifth smallest country in the world, covering just about 24 square miles with a population just under 34,000. One of the things to see here is the Basilica di Santo Marino, a Catholic church which is the main church of the country. It is dedicated to Saint Marinus, the founder and the patron of the Republic. So we've been here for about an hour now and I think one of the things I've noticed so much already is that almost every single building feels like you're in medieval times. There are no modern buildings, at least in this area that we're at right now. So, and every single area that you have to get to is like walkable, but you have to walk up a ton of really old ancient stairs. So it's kind of fun in a way, it can also get tired. Next, we headed to the Parliament Building located in Liberty Square. It is still in use, so definitely make sure it's open when visiting. Fun fact, Abraham Lincoln is an honorary citizen here. The one thing we've never had is beer from San Marino. Yeah. So they had two on the menu here, so we're gonna try if it's any good. Oh, that one's really good. It's almost kind of lemony. Let's try Little Rose. And what goes better with beer? The local cheeses, honey, jam. And is that a cheese? That looks interesting. I don't know what this is. It looks like um, bacon, almost like dried bacon. It's, if, I don't know if you can catch the color, but it's like a purple cheese. So let's give it a bite. Also, people in San Marino are very nice. And also this cheese, it's a little dry, but the beer helps. So what do you think about San Marino food, beer, and the experience of the city so far, or country, I should say? It's it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't really feel a whole lot different than what we're used to in Italy. Um, beer, I'm not a huge beer person. I had to try it because I knew that it was kind of one of the local things that they had. And of course, whenever you go anywhere, you should always try the local things they have. But the beer for me kind of just tastes like beer. I'm not a huge beer person. The cheese was great. The honey, the jam, everything was great. I think San Marino is a really cool place. I mean, so far all we're seeing right now is a little old town area and there's a lot of historical places. I think these places feel very medieval. So if you definitely get the chance and you want to just spend one day doing something, this should be it. I think the three things to do in this town is to shop because there's a ton of shops, eat because there's a lot of good restaurants and a lot of old historic stuff. I, so think, I think the three things to do in this town is walk walk and walk because that's all you're doing right now is we're just walking so there's stairs behind us like five flights and we're going more and we're about to climb a tower but hopefully the views are worth it we're gonna climb the tallest tower here to the tallest point of this country the hiking <laughs> it's worth it look at this we have it all to ourselves So when we went to the parliament earlier, uh, we got these tickets here. They were about $8 each. And that gets you into two attractions or two museums. The first one that we went to was the parliament, of course. And the second one that we're going to right now is this castle. 
I think where we're hiking up to now is the tallest point of this country. The worst part about this is that if you're a normal person, you don't have a lot of experience navigating castles. So it's always a, a game to find out how to not get lost. What's crazy in this whole country of San Marino, when we went up into the hill, there is no internet whatsoever. We have Vodafone and we were getting edge at best, maybe one bar of 4G. But when we climbed this tall tower in San Marino, I literally have three bars of 5G. So this alone is worth it. It's also like a good 15 degrees cooler here with a good breeze. So hike up to the castle or the tower. So we got really lucky today. It's a very clear skies. So if you look all the way there in the distance, all that blue, that's actually the Adriatic Sea. So we are that close. Well, it looks very close. It's probably like a good 20, 25 minutes driving. And you also have to go down this hill which is not fun. When you come here, definitely make sure your car has good brakes and good tires. While Vernon's taking pictures of me, you will notice dogs are everywhere. So I think I read online that Italy is, is the most dog-friendly country in the world. So it is definitely, definitely true. So Vernon, look over the edge. Is it, is it high? I think I'm gonna go as far down now as possible. So let's see how bad it is. Watch, I drop the camera. Oh, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it is. Smallest stairs, smallest door. I just hit my head on that. And I think we're about to climb a ladder. So this is what you have to do in order to climb the first tower. No, Vern, this goes up even higher, right? We got it. Why did they need to go so high up? That's how why that's why they were able to defend themselves for so long. I think this has to be the world's smallest window. Friend, did you hit your head any? Not any yet. Time? But I definitely feel with the height of these old beams, probably gonna happen at least once. You know what the worst part is? Going back down. Hey Vernon, do you think this is as good as your memory foam mattress? I think the floor is more comfortable than that thing. This smells too good to pass up. And if you come to Italy, the gelato inside the little metal canisters is the best. All gelato in Italy is good, but this is the best. I feel like I just won the championship. Look at the size of this thing. Uh, it's good enough to where you might have to get your own. How dare you? <laughs> we were talking to one of the shop owners and the reason why you see so many different shops here that you would think are, are a little bit random to have, it's because the tax here is much uh, less than it is in Italy. So a lot of people come and shop here for, I mean, random luxury things or just kind of regular things. But you will find a bunch of uh, a bunch of different stores here for prices that are a bit lower because of the tax than they are in literally right next door in Italy. How much time do you think somebody needs to spend in San Marino? Easily a day, um, but not more than that for sure. Especially if you come at like ten in the morning, you can just wander around the <laughs> the narrow little streets. Um, every street seems to be about the width of my arms, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more. But um, probably just a day, I think so. Check off another country from your list. Yeah, we, we have a few. So we're trying to get to 192, maybe even more. Best uh, area to have a drink. Look at this. We found the bar with the best seat. It's right there where those people are. Also here, I guess they have cable cars. I had no idea. Let's see where it goes. There's more fun of driving up here in the dangerous roads. Don't you just love it? <laughs> I would not want to be a driver, a delivery driver here. That is probably the worst job. Whatever they're getting paid, it's not enough. Guys, we found in and out It's the uh, in and out in, S in San Marino. Walking around, we saw a bride and groom, and now we're in back in the square, and there's like two or three other brides and grooms. So I don't know if it's like a bunch of weddings. I guess this is one of the random things that they do in San Marino. We have no information on this, so don't quote us, but it just seems like you stumble upon random weddings here. 
Like, I mean, you have a group there, you have a group here, and then there's a separate group there, and then we saw another group down the street. So this is where, like, the, the main government building is that we went to earlier. Out of everything we found in San Marino today, there is a vampire museum. Is random weddings, random vampire museums. We'll see what else is next. Is it foreshadowing where we're going to next? <laughs> Guess, uh, take your guest, comment down below. So something we haven't talked about in this video is about the cost of San Marino. For the shopping and the stores, I think it's pretty affordable and compares relatively the same to Italy. And then for restaurants, foods and drinks, I think it's about the same, if not cheaper for certain things. So a glass of wine I just got here, so it was like 3 euro, so it's not bad and it's the wine here. So it's relatively the same as you would compare to other places in Italy, especially for such a touristy town, I was very surprised. But the one thing we messed up on on this trip was the booking of the location so all the all the good places to stay i think were booked up so everything that was left was way way overpriced and the quality you were getting was not worth it so in that town right over technically in italy we found the cutest place so we decided to go with the set menu i went with the seafood one vernon vernon is carving up look at this pasta on pasta <laughs> Also in this restaurant, you get the focaccia bread, he said, the focaccina. So we got, and this is only the first course. You will never be hungry. What did you call that, uh, flatbread? I think it's like if pizza was a snack, this is pretty much as close as you'd get to that. It's really good. So after the beer that I had earlier, I thought to myself, I'm not gonna have any more alcohol for the day. And then as luck would have it, right at the end of our meal, just before our dessert, the waiter decides to bring by limoncello and cream of pistachio, both alcoholic. They're very low. This may be 35% from my experience with pista uh, limoncello. limoncello. And this is probably about 17 or, or 20%. So. But it's so good. Are they cold? That's the worst part. It's oh, good. They're cold. These are so refreshing. If you've never had these, I would highly recommend trying, especially something like this. It's a, it's the best. It's like ice cream for adults. Let's see. You want to try the pistachio? Yeah. See, it's thick. Ooh. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to watch Vernon do more shots of alcohol he doesn't like. Ooh. It's like if, 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 if a pistachio lit your mouth on fire for some reason. So our set menu came also with dessert. I got the panna cotta with chocolate. I haven't had this in a while. What is that, Vern? This right here is called the least manly drink in the world. It's <laughs> lemon sorbetto uh, in this little glass here. There's no cool way of holding this thing. Look at this. It's like drinking a, um, like drinking a gelato, like a lemon gelato. It's really good. It's beautiful right now. Camera does not do it justice. Wow. I think right there, all those hills, those are the, all the Tuscan hills. And down south from us, that's Umbria, so all the Umbria hills. So we'll be heading there very time soon because there's going to be a very special festival happening in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. 